So the thing is, is the with a worker, it doesn't sense that the tank is empty. It just thinks I'm cultivating. So it keeps going even after the tank is empty. And I'm not sure if I went back here with a full tank and said, OK, get on with it, that the worker would then say, yeah, 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 no problems. Because it would look at this piece of land and say, oh, it's already cultivated. I don't need to do it. Uh, select the thing on the back. Okay, that should now just do its thing. Hopefully, I'm too far over. So, pull forward a little bit. good. Alright, so I can now leave that to do what it's doing and it will go until it uses up 800,000 litres of uh, digestate, which I don't expect for it to do. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. Oh, we can take this back to the farm. So, animals are all fed. Do I want to buy that field and harvest it? We do have possibly three, four hours before we need to panic with that, so, or before we run out of time. And tomorrow's going to be sunny, and there's no guarantee that the, uh, the beans or the corn are going to be ready. Helper N is blocked by an object. Seriously? is blocked by a shrub. Okay. Fine. And again, this is why I need a supply on the field.
will do there. Turn around, we'll tidy it up. And we'll get the worker back on it. Wait there for a little way. Run back over here. Do the bits we missed. be so upset between be because of shrubs. Okay, I will be coming back and doing a lot of manual finishing off so I can get that bit if I remember. But for now that should keep going again. There's oh, this typical. I tab through every single vehicle because the one I wanted to look at was one step behind this one. So, basically what I'm considering, like cows, mm. this is one of the cornfields, we'll be chaffing this one. A big fan of uh, any cereals at my age. Used to be, but uh, yeah, when I was a kid, a bowl of cornflakes or Rice Krispies that was fine. But uh, not so much anymore. I think the problem the problem is is I can't do milk. I don't do milk in tea. I don't do milk in anything except cooking. So having cereal with milk on is not a thing I do. Okay, so this is a field of wheat, I believe. Yep. I don't own it. Hello. It's going to cost me 400,000. I've still got a million five. <coughs> I'm inclined to say, yes, we will buy this. This is now my field of wheat. That's him. And this is my uh, harvester. Oh no, that's exactly right. Start the engine. behind is good. We'll jump in this one and follow. What do you mean you can't find a, a vehicle in front of you? There's a hulking great harvester in the way. Well, okay then. We'll just drive the tractor.
Um, it doesn't settle any well. I've, ne I've, I've never had a problem with being lactose intolerant. It just... Um, I haven't drunk milk for so many years. I went back in my 20s when I was living on my own. I don't drink milk in tea. Um, and so I really didn't use milk for anything. And you know, you buy even a quart of milk and it would go off before I used it all. So I just decided, you know what, it's not worth me buying it. And so therefore, I stopped and my body, when I started drinking milk again as an adult, it was, you know, when I got married and sort of, oh, there's milk in the house. I drink milk and it's sort of, yeah, I really can't tolerate this stuff anymore. Yoga, I don't have a problem with, but milk, just no. Okay, which way did this gate open the other way? Uh, I'm hoping I can get a full turn out of this. Oh, that seems to be working. I'm really liking this tractor. It's not one most people play with. Okay, let's uh, go back to this one. You can stop following now. I'll put you along the edge of the field as well. Yeah, I, I can't even do chocolate milk. It just doesn't sit well with me anymore. Now, I don't have any problems with other, like a, you know, yogurt, butter, not a problem, but milk, I think it's just been too long since I drank it. It's not something, you know, you throw it down your gullet and your body says, you know what, I'm not so sure about this anymore. So, so yeah, okay, fine. I'm fine with that. So I wish I had a better indication of when it's going to rain. Looks like it might happen soon now. Now that we've bought the land, we've got the harvester in it. Ah. Uh, um. Okay, I think at this point I'm not going to bother with a straw swath because we are just before the rain comes. And frankly, if we're dropping straw, it'll just rot anyway. So I might as well just not produce it. Yeah, that may be true. I mean, the, the thing is, is I don't, I don't drink it in any of the drinks I, eat, you know, I like, so, yeah, why bother buying it? Alrighty, let's uh, get this thing started, at least until it starts raining. Oh, that's, uh, Think withered crop from previous years. It's looking that way, so we're definitely far enough over to be uh, pulling it in. So this field will need to be ploughed once we're done with it.
Yeah, I just don't. I, I drink tea, but not with milk. In. I haven't drunk it with milk for years. Basically dating back to, you know, in my 20s when I was drinking tea and not uh, putting milk in it because the milk would go off before I'd get through a half pint or whatever. So it was just no point buying milk, so I might as well get used to drinking tea without it. Plus, I like flavoured tea. And there's no point drinking tea which has a very gentle flavour to it and then loading it up with milk because that kind of destroys the flavour. So what are we doing here? Oh, there's some more uh, withered crop because I don't even know why that is. I mean, obviously, if you plant, if you're playing the game in standard mode, then uh, where the map maker places the crop may may extend past what he's defined as the official edge of the field, so that when the game, you know, okay, this field is harvested, it just pulls the crop within the field def defined area and then it'll cultivate within the field defined area leaving the the crop that it didn't can didn't erase along the edge to wither but we're playing with seasons so you know crop placement shouldn't you know doesn't come into effect because Seasons just says all the fields are empty and you plant, you know, what, what you're cultivating, what you're planting, what you're uh, harvesting is all within the exact limits of the field. I don't know. Yeah, I don't drink iced tea. I drink hot tea. we get our tea bags from importers rather than uh, American tea bags. I found American tea bags to be quite anemic such that you have to yeah you have to leave the tea bag in the tea for about 20 minutes for it to come out with any decent strength. don't have much to go before this fills up. We have a little bit further than I thought we had. Now what I can't remember is do I have the stop uh, mod loaded or not? No. In Farm Sim 19 I have the stop mod so that uh, the harvester will stop once it's full. Raises the head, puts the brakes on, puts out the, the pipe. Doesn't run over the crop. Now I did discover recently that this is not typical of British style. Um, farming. This is more typical of American or Australian farming. Now European farms are starting to get into the uh, starting to get into chaser bins to empty harvesters but it's not a common practice. They also don't put uh, trucks on the field, obviously. Should have turned the engine off, never mind. Go back and uh, turn the engine off, we don't need that on.
the more typical thing, at least in England, possibly a lot of Europe, are uh, this sort of thing, about 21,000 litres, um, possibly something like that, very rarely something that big. So we're yeah, you're basically looking at a small twenty, possibly thirty thousand liter truck, and a medium sized tractor like our Valtra, and you get two or three of those around. Uh, what am I doing? Turn the engine on. And uh, yeah, they're running a constant convoy between the uh, the harvester and the um, the grain silo. They'll use a truck to take you know, empty the grain silo, take it to the uh, yeah, take it to market, but. They don't use all the wagons for much in, in Europe at the moment, as I said. They, it's coming into its own, but really all the, big all the wagons emptying harvesters is a, a US, Canadian, Australian thing, where the fields are huge and you kind of have the auger chasing the harvester and unloading into a fleet of trucks sitting at the side of the road because you have that much crop to harvest. So when I go on to the next farm after I finish this one, we'll probably going more European style practices, or common European style practices. I mean, this farm is rare in that I'm growing corn in Scotland, which is almost unheard of. It's not quite totally unheard of, but the corn they grow in Scotland is um, uh, for animal consumption only, for the most part. Yes, and if I mean you look at Oxygen David's maps, and some of those, fifty percent of the map is is grass, and that is quite a common thing. If the local farm is a livestock farm, now if you, there are ar arable farms out there. I mean, you go out into some areas, and you just have field after field after field of uh, canola the bright yellow flowers everywhere. Scotland, the most predominant uh, cereal crop is barley because whiskey. So there's a ready um, customer base there. And then it's mostly wheat and canola, I think. All root crops, especially Scotland root crops, uh, Ireland root crops, um, north of England probably root crops as well because they they're not as badly affected as by rain as cereal crops. Cereal crop gets wet. You can't run one of these things because. The wet crop will clog it up and you'll end up having fires and things but uh, a root crop harvest why is that not working because I'm pressing the wrong button a uh, root crop harvester you're really just shaking the dirt off the crop as you pull it out of the ground and storing it in the back somewhere I'm still pressing the wrong button Uh, 
this field is a little bit too long for the harvester. I could have a Lexian 8900. Uh, we'd probably get two rows in this thing, or in that. Yeah, and typically, you know, the field work tractors are smaller. Yeah, more more mid-sized tractors for haulage. I mean, we're running just shy of 400 horsepower with this thing. But there's no way the Valtra can cope with this, um, the weight of this chaser bin. There and get, get back in the harvester. Breathe in. Now, and I don't know whether it's typical, but it seems that a lot of farmers in the UK generally have enough grain carts and uh, mid-sized tractors to be able to have a continuous stream of traffic between the field and the, uh, the yard. So one tractor would be running alongside the harvester unloading it and as soon as it's full the next tractor is pulling onto the field um, that first tractor will run back to the yard and when it gets back it will be the, the, pre, the tractor in front of it will be just filling up its tipper so you know, if you're a fair distance from the yard then you might need three, four tractors if you're quite close by they'll generally use about two and that's what I've seen at least of farms that have YouTube videos Similarly with um, with grass cutting, they tend to use um, either a forage harvester and a train of forest harvesting wagons, but just enough to get you back to the yard. And then back to, you know, so, you know, the size of the wagon, the size of the... Uh, at the distance from the yard kind of dictates how many you need to uh, harvest that particular field and the other thing they're common is the loading wagons which I understand aren't particularly common in the US US are predominantly bales you cut you bale you take the bales in but The problem is, is I haven't been to the UK for years, so uh, paying attention to bales in fields, I'm really not up to date on that. And you know, I only been into farm sim since 17 came out and started paying attention to agriculture, so it's not something I was looking for 20 years ago. The last time I was in England. Chaser bring takes about um, three and a half loads of this harvester. I'm 
actually doing fairly well on this so far. Still no rain. And we're keeping a fairly good line without the use of GPS. The looks fairly clear. It's very dreary very quickly. So it's getting a little bit risky. 